Hi folks, thanks for tuning in to another figure review. We're going to break it up a little bit this time. Uh, take a little break from the Star Wars just for one video at the moment. Uh, just for the moment. Uh, Indiana Jones Adventure Series, the very first figure. It's the only one I've got so far, but I'm looking forward to getting more. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm loving what they've done here. Um, the packaging is is absolutely fantastic. But they've gone the windowless, um, obviously, you know, sort of, it's, it's designed to be that way, so they're not trying to change packaging to fit. Um, so they've absolutely been able to plan this run really nicely. Um, that said, if they are going to return to the uh, windowed packaging for Star Wars Black Series and some Marvel Legends, among other lines, I'd love to see, um, I'd love to see these change up. But if they don't, and they are able to stick with this sort of good look and the figures are, are, are good as they come out I'm, I'm more than happy um, in terms of jumping deep into this collection I'm not sure yet <laughs> um, although with this figure it may be too late so yeah really nice packaging I love that they've got that sort of gloss image of the figure the indie there you know, I assume these images all sort of will line up once you get more of the uh, more of the figures but we'll see so on the back here to look at the accessories the height of the figure 15.9 centimeters or 6.3 inches on the side they go into the build an artifact so you got the ark of the covenant up the top there and then down below all the parts that come with it to complete that so I'm very, very tempted to pick the rest of these up. I think it'd be, uh, I think it'd be a really nice collection to have, just from Indiana Jones himself, um, which we'll show you now. I don't know. There's something about it. It's just, it's just really, really nice stuff. We've all sort of, would have. I mean, sort of hoping for an indie line for the last few years, especially with the uh, upgrades in technology and detail and, and all that with the six inch line of, uh, you know, all the lines that they've been doing between G.I. Joe, Black Series, Marvel Legends, all that. And it's just improved so well. It's perfect timing to get some really nicely detailed figures out for indie. Um, and it got me sort of thinking which other toy lines I'd love to see come out from other other films and uh, one I think would be awesome in a six inch scale would be James Bond lots of villains Bond babes different versions of Bond different outfits um, that's something I'd love to see but I'm happy with what we've got here so before we take a look at the figure itself we'll look at all the accessories it comes with now the two builder build artifact parts these two bits from from the lid so really nicely detailed looks good also comes with the idol now as I'm talking um, Hasbro did Sort of announce over the Star Wars Celebration weekend that there's a deluxe version coming out with the sort of pedestal um, that this sits on and the sort of the bag that he replaces it with <laughs> right at the start of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Does come with a sort of looped up whip that you can hang on his belt, so that's kind of cool. A loose whip here, which is nice as well. It's sort of stuck in the sort of shape and pose that it was squashed into the box with, but a little bit of warm water, you get that sort of sitting out the way you want it to. And he also comes with a few changes of hands, which is something that is always welcome. Um, it's got a, set, a pair of fists, which is really nice. Now he's got his whip holding hand, which sits in there nice and snug. I'll show you as I go on and the hand to sort of hold the idol against his chest slightly more relaxed hand there and a pistol holding hand now like i was mentioning about the whip 
there is a slight little peg just on this loop. Um, I have actually glued that on just because it was hanging loose and the peg, it's because the belt's made of such a soft plastic, it really wasn't hanging in there. And I decided, you know, if I'm going to have him displaying holding this, I'll just put it in his hands and uh, yeah, have him sort of ready to use it. Because you know, you're not going to display both whips. So that's good. And even with the uh, gun, gun holster, I actually glued that shut just because it was a little bit, a little bit flippy flappy. Um, and I decided if I'm not going to display him with the pistol, um, I'll just put it aside in an accessories box. But um, it does come with the pistol, obviously. It's a, it's, it feels a little bit small and flimsy, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I'd be very tempted to go and find a replacement for that, but it's not a big deal. I'm happy with it. Um, what else? You know, his little satchel that he has there is is removable, but uh, it is sort of just nicely put on the shoulder there, just sort of tucks behind. So you don't really want to have to take that off. I uh, would definitely be end up with a uh, hat off version of Indy as well, but. Why would you want to take the hat off? It's part of him. It looks awesome. The jacket's really nicely detailed as well. And if you open it up, you can sort of see all the joints. Those sweet butterfly joints for allow for a lot of movement in the front of the figure. Get a really nice sort of shooting pose. Like so, if I can. It's a little always tricky with the camera between. There we go. But yeah, love, love the weathering and the details on the jacket. Sort of the wear and tear up on the sort of shoulder blades back there. Through the back where it all crinkles up while he's doing what he's doing. These are sort of plain brown trousers. They look good. And boots sitting in there nicely. I'm not sure whether they've done this with any other lines because they haven't done it with um, Star Wars or Marvel that I'm aware of yet but they've gone with this almost SH figure art sort of ball and peg joint in the uh, arm there so it's as simple as just popping those hands on and off nice snug fit we have Mr. Dr. Jones really really love this figure just just perfect Harrison Ford there looks so nice articulation wise I like what they've done with the uh, with the joint there it allows for a lot of movement without having that sort of segmented torso so the neck joint on the head and the lower neck actually allows for a lot of movement We've sort of shown you the uh, elbows, uh, the shoulders, elbows, good angles, and knees and ankles. So all good stuff here. Really looking forward to getting some more of this line of figures. So please let me know what you think. Um, yeah, really, really happy to show this one off. This is a, this is a very nice one. Absolutely looking forward to getting the rest. Some amazing toy photography out there already of these indie figures. And uh, yeah, very inspiring. So yeah, please sound down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you have. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you on future videos. I'm definitely going to be doing some more indie reviews as, as I get the figures. But yeah, until then... 
see you on the next one. Till then, take care.